Hi, I'm Andrea Weigert, and I'm here today to talk to you about protecting your bonsai trees during the cold weather. A lot of you think that we don't get cold here in Florida, but we do. Uh, this week we had, uh, we got down to 33.9 degrees. So whenever it's predicted to get pretty cold, it's a pretty big deal here at the nursery and there's a lot of preparation we do. We have a lot of beautiful old trees that we definitely don't want anything to happen to them. So we really go out of our way and do a lot of work to make sure that they are safe. Also, we have a lot of people's trees that we're boarding here along with our own trees and we don't want anything to happen to them. Uh, we will be showing you some footage of what we do in the process and how much work we put into um, setting this up. Most of the nursery is moved. Uh, most of the bonsai are, are moved here. Our specimen trees, hundreds of specimen trees, very large trees, we have to move them with the forklift. They get moved into the buildings here in the nursery or we have a couple greenhouses with heaters set up. Um, the retail section with the potted trees and all sizes, they get moved. Um, so a lot of the nursery, it takes a whole day with about six people moving trees all day long to protect them. So we move our plants. Um, we can't move everything because it is a pretty large nursery. So our pre-bonsai material does not get moved. Uh, there's no place and it would be impossible. So we do ice the plants down. That is the way that we protect them. The night that it's going to get cold, me and Eric will stay up and watch for the weather. And uh, we kind of stay up all night and keep checking the temperature. When it gets down to 35, we turn our sprinklers on. The sprinklers will stay on until the sun comes up and the ice melts. The, so uh, the sprinklers, will oh, they're going, they'll form ice on the plants. And I know that looks really bad and people see pictures of uh, ice on the trees and they're like, oh my God, but this is what protects the plants. The ice forms a layer of water that keeps the plants warmer. So the plants actually don't get to freezing. They stay above freezing because of the ice. So it is a way to protect them. Uh, this only works if the sun melts the the ice you can't just turn off the sprinklers otherwise it will freeze and damage it so that's why we have to keep the sprinklers going the whole time until the sun melts the ice and so that's what we do and then the next day here in florida it is warm again and we have to move everything out again so a lot of work but the plants are safe everybody looks good um and that's what we we have to do here now for you guys, the homeowners, uh, you should also on those nights protect your trees. Ideally, if it's going to go below 40 to be safe, you should move your tropical bonsai trees. Some really cold sensitive trees, I would say even below 45, and those would be like buttonwoods, neo, water, jasmine, those type of plants that are very, very tropical. They hate the cold, I would even do it at that point. And then you do have some trees that can take the cold that you don't have to move at all. Those would be your junipers, your pines, elms. Uh, so there is a whole list of plants that are cold hardy that you don't have to worry about. They're totally fine. Now, if you live up north where it's really cold, you guys do things differently. And even the cold hardy trees can only take cold for a certain period of time and a certain amount of cold. So definitely contact somebody in your area to see what is recommended for you guys to do where you live. This information is what we do here in Florida. So here in Florida with your tropical trees, the best thing if you can do is bring them in the house. Um, the other thing is if you happen to be lucky enough to have a green, a heated greenhouse, that's great. So that's the ideal best. And I know that that's not possible with everybody and with some big plants. If the plants are really huge and you can't move them, uh, you would cover them with a, uh, a sheet. They do sell freeze cloths that are great too at Home Depot or Lowe's. Never cover them with plastic. Cover them with a sheet. This will help against frost damage. If you did get cold damage on your tree, uh, if you weren't able to protect them or it was very cold and it wasn't enough, you will, some plants will show right away. The next day you can see. Some plants will take a while. It could take a week to start showing cold damage. So wait and see, don't think it, it didn't happen. Um, don't start doing things with your plants until you know what's, what's going on with them. And if there is cold damage, 
uh, be very careful not to overwater your plants if they are cold damaged and also don't uh, start cutting your plants because you don't know how far back they've died back. So really give them some time to start cutting off cold damage. Don't do it right away. So hopefully this video helped. Enjoy watching the footage um, and hopefully your plants were well protected and were safe during uh, this cold weather that we just had here in Florida. Thank you. sprinklers on to uh, help protect our plants and the there is ice on some plants which shows there are some pockets that did get down to freezing temperatures and I'll show you some of the stuff here this does protect the plants it insulates them you can see the ice all over this orchid tree here but this uh, keeps a layer of water that keeps the trees above freezing and, and keeps them warmer and protects them. So this is what saves them from cold damage. We've been doing this for many years in the winter. And you can see some plants don't have ice on them, like the spikus, but others do. There's a Brazilian rain tree. 
I got a piece of ice from the pot and the icicles. This is an unexpected last minute temperature drop. We knew a few days ago, but we didn't think we were going to get anything this year. Uh, but it did and hopefully this will be the only one this year and the rest of the year we won't have to to do this 